Hey guys and girls, welcome back to this beautiful series here where we just go through some simple examples uh, in C++. So uh, this is example 24 and I just wanted to really really quickly just go through something, uh, something very simple here. Uh, something I forgot to touch upon when I was talking about function parameters. So we'll make a simple example here. We'll make a function uh, and, and some vector here. Let's see, include vector. Oh, excuse me, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to change the vector in a function. And we did that earlier, and I showed you that you use a reference variable in order to do that. But what happens when you pass in a, a uh, uh, pass it in by value? I just want to show you that. So uh, let's just call it func, and let's call it vector. We'll pass in a vector of ints, and we'll call it a. Okay? And this is a vector uh, in main here my vec all right and we'll give my vec some values push back let's say one let's just push back a few of these here okay two three four and what we'll do here is we'll do a we'll just say a push back five and then we'll go six seven eight Seven, eight, and this is passed in by value now. Okay, passed by value. And uh, if you if you check my older or the example twenty three here, we talk about passing in by value and reference. In case you missed that earlier, but uh, yeah, this vector is passed in by value. So what happens here if we just call func with my vec? Okay, so we pass in my vec in here as the parameter and it's supposed to add a few more numbers to my vec, right? So and then in the end we're just gonna print that out. Dot size. Hell yeah. See out. Oh, well, oh yeah, see out. What am I doing? And then one of these babies and then my vec at position I and that line. So we'll print all that shit out and we'll see what happens. Okay. So let's just print it out. Oh, one, two, three, four. Well, well, well. What happened to five, six, seven, eight? Hum. Hum. Well, we passed it in by value. That's what happened. That's the culprit here. That means that when we passed in our uh, myvec into the parameter, it copied myvec. It did not actually send in the place address to my vec, my vec so we can actually manipulate it uh, it sent in a copy of my vec which means that a became a copy of it that's the only thing they have in common the, the values in here and then it added to itself the local variable in here five six seven and eight and it was destroyed at the end of the function so it had no meaning in life basically and my vec stayed the same no matter what and after the function is stayed the same. But what happens if we make it a reference valuable? Passed by reference. What happens now? Okay, this is really important when it comes to vectors. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well, well, well. The thing is now that the reference, the address here, uh, was it was given the address to my vec. So my vec was manipulated here. This in itself is nothing more than just a link to an actual variable okay it's not a variable in itself really it's more of an address holder so it it just holds the address to this when you pass it in and then func manipulates all this stuff and does this to my vec even if the variable name is different this is just an identifier for the address like in here in this local function it's still my vec that is being manipulated so there you go guys uh, I hope this cleared up some stuff with vectors. This is really important when you're trying to change a vector. So uh, just keep that in mind and stay tuned to the channel. I hope you learned something and good luck with your studies and stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.